<laughs> Thank you. Read, read the room. Hey, hey guys. guys, it is Justin always back to watch more of the Seven Deadly Sins. This is season three, episode fourteen, a new threat. Yes, a new threat. I think the new threat might be Excalibur. Who knows? We'll see what happens. We, you know, hey, I think we said the last re uh, last reaction. This they do a really really good job of. Taking all these crazy elements of like lore that we kind of grew up with the things we know about and put them in together in a story like this. It's interesting. You know what I mean? And add a little bit of the Japanese hint of anime. You know, it's, it's something different. You gotta, it's, it's, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have anything to say before we get started with this episode? I think right now we're about to jump into Camelot. Probably. I mean, I, 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 I think the new, I do think that the new threat might be something from the bad side. I don't think it's gonna be good. The new threat's gonna be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Remember? Yeah. Oh, damn. We, no, didn't, we didn't talk about we, the last. The last whatever. It was about. Oh, we didn't talk about the last. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll talk about. We didn't talk father, about. Yeah. King. We didn't talk about the the big. Uh, how is it called? The Demon big, King. Yeah. Reveal. Yeah, the Demon King reveal how yeah. fucking Zelda completely got shisted. For Meliodas, yeah. which was obviously the plan from the jump. The whole yeah, idea yeah. of him having him come back alive, and now I get it because. He always wanted him to be to come back for that job eventually, so he never really wanted to kill him. It's hard to yeah. feel that it makes sense though. It makes yes, a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. So and then he not died. to push it further, he made sure that his girl kept dying, so he'd eventually just quit that mission and come back to be the demon king. Like man, when, one of these times, one of these lives, your girl die, you'll come back home eventually. Yeah, yeah. think of it. Well, she's gonna keep dying, so eventually you might just decide. To my to father. Back. Why can you make me die? Like, three of my exes like that. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's get this show on the road. We're this is not a market substitute. For the actual seven minutes in the show, please support the OG content on Netflix. Go watch it there. They come watch it with us. If you want to jump ahead, check out our Patreon. Patreon. Our are on there as well. If you can't do either of that, please comment, like, or subscribe. subscribe. Tell us how these episodes made you feel. Made you feel we love good. hearing your thoughts. We love let's hearing your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck you! Yeah. Oh! That actually kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> Man, why do they... I hate when animators do that shit. It's They're like, good for it. It's, it's like, like they literally they literally pull, put it into the most action minute. Stop! <laughs> like, block. You cool. know what I mean? It's cool. like, they don't even let it like finish. I was like, block. They could have just like... We work together. But no, they had to show the fucking arrow. Would you imagine this shit was week to week? We'd be suffering. It'd be annoying as fuck. As I said it all the time. I mean, it's about week to week for us. We're going to wait another whole fucking hour to how long. Well, let's get into it, man. <laughs> let's get into, let's it. Get into it. Regardless, good episode. Very good episode. episode. Very good episode. Yeah. Uh, man, so we got to meet Zeldris's master. Chandler and Cusack. Chandler and Cusack. The napping and pacifier demons, which is so great. They're like they're nannies. Like, yeah, but they're like nannies, but also like teacher guides to these two young boys. I don't know who Esterosa's was. Like, yeah, they just sit there. And but he like, probably got one, though, for sure. I probably. don't know. It feels like he's the middle child right now. Yeah, he's the off ball. <laughs> yeah. They even said he's like, I don't know if we want to trust Esterosa. It sucks because you know? like, he's like, Meliodas is getting like healed like because, you know, the demon king's like, yeah. Heal up with this powers, but Esterosa is in like fucking... some swimming pool jacuzzi. Still trying to get like, what were they healing and wanted those wax bath things? Yeah. <laughs> trying to get them going, but no man, like so they these guys are new and they've come through and they're here to obviously help. Because like I was a little bit confused when he was like he was sitting there and he was like, oh you two should be more than enough to take care of everybody else. Oh by the way, it was crazy how the whole fucking demon squad shisted his ass. Oh, yeah, the everybody was just like, nope, him. we're not coming to see you anymore. We're not. I mean, like, draw everybody. Everybody them. was like, nope. And the ones that did, they all died. I think that's kind of what it, what it was. And, and, and even the people that we saw the small conversation they had, they're down to their last hearts. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, like, 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 they're down, like, it ain't too much. remember, they're demons. Like, they're not, yeah. like, going to be that loyal. In, Mo no. in Mo Spirit and Derry Mo Good one. That's a good point. Well, good. in Mo Spirit and Derry Airy, it was really good to see them, like, I guess, live a normal life 
She's just sitting there lounging, chilling. He's sitting there by the fireplace, like, it's like, hey, man, this is nice. This ain't that bad, man. Yeah, 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 this ain't nice. that bad, man. We thought we were going to die like, twice. We're like, we're like, welcome. Yeah, that's, it's nice. Just sit around, do nothing. It's, it's great. She does know? look slightly miserable, though. She looks unhappy. She's sitting A there little like, oh, bit, but I don't like, think it's too bad. I mean, because like, I feel like if she was really that unhappy like that, they would have left. And, legit. Because you know what? Like, they came. It's like, like, oh. Free food and water. Yeah, she's like, hey, here goes free food and alcohol. Yeah. And then she had to say the comment, yeah, you look great in our second, in my second, whatever downs or whatever. But cutting back to like everybody leaving and not being there. And then when, when Zell just goes, oh, you two being here is more than enough. I was sitting there, I was like, how are these two more than enough? And then when they were like their masters, I was like, oh, makes sense. I get it. And that's why I was assuming that maybe they're, they're like, they're pretty powerful because he, Zell just seemed very, he was, once he saw them, he was like, oh, okay, we, 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 oh, we, we good. good. No. We good to go. Yeah, like, we good to go. Well, it took, you, and then they even explained to, I, they, they're pretty good about like hitting at things. I mean, very good about it. They just say blah, blah, blah. But he straight up said that, oh yeah, it was harder for us to leave hell. Uh, or the, the God of Seal. The God of Seal because like, we we're higher up demons. It was way harder for us, but we still did it. So the harder we got, hard, the, the more powerful you are, the harder it is to get out. But it, it, they got out. So just showing how powerful they were. Yeah, that's dope. They're, um, they're really cool. I really do appreciate the Chandler's, the character Meliodas' is like nanny. Yeah. I think he's hella cool. I love the way he's so proud of him. He does. He seems to be a good guy. He's just he, extremely he, devoted he, and loyal. He's just like, fuck that bitch. Yeah. Like, no, I don't want to do that heathen. <laughs> But like miscreant, <laughs> miscreant, call miscreant. shorty a miscreant. <laughs> like <laughs> damn, bro, take it easy. <laughs> um, I thought it was again like they Cusack and, and Chandler. They're just very, very loyal to like these two. And Cusack's loyalty goes far results because he's literally about to be like, dude, don't listen to your dad. Yeah. Dude, you're it. This belongs to you. You're Demon King. You're Demon King. I'm here to fight for you. Like I'm whatever you need. I'm all yours. And he's even said he didn't trust Esterosa. He's yeah. like, that guy, he's ominous. He, he's ominous. He, he's way too quiet. It's the quiet ones you got to worry about. He just wanted Meliodas. That was his thing. I remember actually, he, even when he fight other people before, he was like, I'm really here for Meliodas. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to do all this other riffraff. None of you guys can beat me. Yeah, it doesn't He was OP here. too, Ron. Yeah. Like, 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 I don't was, think for us to do awesome when you met him. I'm like, Rosa. damn. He stops all magic. Like, well, what? <laughs> In the world of magic, you stop all magic? Yeah. Um... <laughs> So, so now, what? Go ahead. Oh, you know what I mean. Go leave for it. No, it's gonna say just change it. Subject. Oh well, now they're ba- they they're basically uh, what happens next is obviously dude comes in the de- uh, fucking Chandler comes in and he makes everything go to night and I love the expression when they were like when everything becomes night it's, it's better for the demons the, it's better for the demons I feel like and, we and it's, knew that. that's true and it's weaker for uh it's weaker for it's fucking true. for uh like Escanor but yeah. not everybody else I would say it just like it gives the demons more power it doesn't necessarily make people. Weaker, but like, yeah, they're getting like an extra boost that normally King and everybody else wouldn't. Right. Yeah, which sucks, but it is, man. It is. They got stronger. You know what I mean? They, uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm really excited to see what Gother and, uh, King are gonna be able to unleash. Uh, they got their celestial arrow. They have not I wanna see that. I mean, yeah, and, and they've all gotten power ups now that are just like a little bit more above and beyond. like the weakest. Except for who? Except for Bond. Yeah. Bond is, a, is with his I'm shit. not going to keep bagging on it because I think he got a good one coming, but I think they're like, because he, like you said, he doesn't die. I guess they've been scratching their head about what to do next for him for a while and yeah. it's starting to become very obvious to me. Yeah. Um, what's her name? Gloxenia and... Gloxenia and Droll. Droll, their no longer commandments or powers are taken away because they didn't answer Del... Jo- Del- yeah, Del- they're, they're, they're things, they're whatever. Infinity, they're, they're probably part of their... Check my the squad. They're probably help out the squad now. Yeah, they definitely are, dude. I think um, any of them to become I would love for them to come help. Any of them to take members retire, they should disappear and do what they were doing in that house. Yeah. Think about what they've been dealing with. They've lived longer than regular humans. Yeah. They've been alive for thousands of yeah, years. I, if they, go find a farm I, and go and go live like I, I'm with that. Sure. I re- Make me an island. You I, re- know what I'm saying? I really, really did enjoy that scene with Monster and Derriere because they were sitting there, like you know, why, they were questioning why Meliota saved them and let them live twice. Twice, you know twice. what I mean? And then it's like. When the answer is there, the answer is there. You know what I mean? Stop beating around the bush. If it's there, it's there. That's what it is. And I feel like and it took come back and you know him. it took Monster to be like you know what we know what we know why he did it. What's yeah. You know what we know, we, and we and we know for a while. Yeah, we know for a while. We know for a while. We need to stop. We need to stop doing this shit. I, you know what? And, 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 and <laughs> I, love, I love I love how he was like 
we need it. That was like, we basically said we need to cut it the fuck out. Yeah. We've known the truth. We've known it for a while. And I and she was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you right. Hey, hey, you know what? It takes really big of some people to admit when like they're wrong, they're wrong in their world, and it makes your world look upside down. Yes. Shit, I was uh oh my god, I was on Reddit again. I was reading this thing about this, <laughs> about this about this scientist who only believed that our galaxy was like the only galaxy that was out there, and then when he was proven by other scientists that that's not the case it rocked his whole entire world it rocked it so much that he changed his and then he like he it changed his whole outlook and he ended up changing him the way he viewed things and he actually ended up discovering like 700 more galaxies around the universe because of that change i don't that's know if that's so. a true story or not you know how you go through reddit and you click fake some shit you know fake news, fake news you know but that might be real it sounds too too believable exactly <laughs> Uh, it was really cool to see King get his artistic side and make a keychain and heart pendant. That's cute, man. King do a lot of cute yeah, shit. He yeah, is cute. He's yeah. like, you don't have to accept it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember how it was. It was pretty like, good. I'm like, I'm fucking taking that shit. Um, we also saw Merlin's true form, and she's the son of Billy Wynn or something. I cannot. I'm a witch. I'm a witch. Yeah. Yeah. So she's a. She, Merlin has to yet like I have yet to get my background story on Merlin that I want. Mer- Merlin's closet is so deep. Like she got a lot of skeletons yeah. in there, man. That shit got bodies everywhere. She bro. seems to be a part of all of the major storylines. Like Merlin, Merlin's there. Part, you know what I mean? Thank you. She's like all through history, you know. Like you know, like you know, she was always there. Like, and I like that that common thing. Yeah. When it seems that like you know, like they that that's why I really didn't know what they were doing with the with the King Arthur thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I really didn't. No, that's dope. They put so much lore into this. It's like yeah. you know, this it's. I mean, it's a good show. Oh, Vincent. There you go, Vincent. He's like, I hear you guys saying bye. All right, y'all. We got to go. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Much love. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of The Seven Deadly Sins. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Saqif, Clayton Davis, Harry McFan, Exploring Dylan, Aaron, Mr. Momus, and Joe Mags. Thanks again and have an awesome day.